All right. Hello, Austin County. We are here with Jesse Arbro, president of Wifinity, and they were kind enough to help us stream our uh, fair coverage uh, out of our Cliff Jones RV. And uh, Jesse, I know nothing about internet and nothing about what you do. I'm going to just go ahead and state that right there. So I'm going to turn it over to you. How did you get into this? What are you hoping to offer? Go. Okay. How to get into it? Well, uh, much like everything else, people need an internet. And, All right. Uh, yeah, I came to me and said, Desperately. Hey, I need faster internet. The satellite is not working. DSL is not working. Uh, I can't get internet where I'm at. No one has it. Can you provide internet? So, yep, we can. So we put together a solution, and we have our first tower up in Belleville right now, um, servicing uh, clients. And, uh, you know, our first client, uh, you know, was just, it was taking three hours to watch a two-hour movie. We took him down to be able to stream multiple devices on 4K and and still providing internet. And so that's just kind of how it how it kind of happened. And How'd you wind up here in Belleville? I mean, are you from Belleville? No, I'm not from Belleville, but uh, my partner has has acreage out here, and and uh, um, we just saw the need for it. And that's kind of how how it is. It's actually in my partner's uh, uh, you know kind of extended family, my my wife's uncle. So okay, well there you go. Well, you know what they say about working with family. I'm only laughing because I work with my brother. Oh, so, I was like, yeah, like, no, 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 yeah, that, that, that was a joke right there. But he's, anyway, he's sitting right, he's there, sitting right there, there. I know, okay. giving me giving me the evil eye, but that's all right. Um, okay, so your tower, it's it's just one tower so far. So right now we have one tower. We just we just put it up earlier this year. Uh, we got it up and running. Um, we we're putting out three more towers by December, and we're looking at places to put out more towers, uh, possibly Cat Springs, kind of towards uh, uh, Hempstead a little bit. Uh, uh to expand that area i i want to get people quality internet uh you know 10 megs is not fast enough i want to get people at least 100 megs uh out to their homes and and that's my goal is to get faster internet right now we're able to ride between 45 and 60 megs uh you know that's kind of our sweet spot right now but uh come december i want to be able to up that and just provide a faster smooth because the reality is Internet is no longer just a luxury. You can't no, you can't it's, live without it. You can't live without it. This is a utility now. And so when you when you are working from home or you have kids that are going to school that really need that that internet to do to to perform. Right. Um, it's just what it is. So that's what what I'm gonna provide. Yeah, and that's that's the thing is like I'm a school teacher by trade and there is nothing that we do that is not touched by internet exactly at some point in the day i mean sometimes i mean all the testing is online everything so and that's the thing is with after you know the virus of unspecified origin came through um you know when a lot of things shut down people really realized just how much you need internet because you're sitting at home trying to stream the netflix to keep you entertained and nothing and it's frustrating and it's even it's even not uh you know when we had that happen we saw a lot of people start working remote yes uh, and they never stopped and they never stopped so you know now a lot of companies offer that hybrid work uh, mm -hmm. uh option yeah as a as a benefit because i enjoy work from home i think sure you, you'd enjoy being able to work from home it's just yeah. a easy thing and uh you know but your limitation of having having poor internet is just not not yeah, because there's nothing like trying to do a tele call, Skype, whatever your company uses, and you're sitting there, you know, and you've decided to sneeze, and you're stuck at, you know, half what everybody sees all the while like you're talking, and that that doesn't... I'm on the other side, you know, pressing. Yeah, screen. going. What am what I seeing here? Your print screen, and we're sitting that out. Exactly. What am I seeing here? Exactly. That's, what that's I seeing awesome here? Yeah. yeah, and that that's the thing is it really it really does. You want to add something, Greg? I wanted to tell that story when he was taking the survey about the lady. Oh no, yeah. So so yeah, we came out last year at the at the fair here, and uh, you know we were talking and interviewing people just to see if we could even people even want the service. Right. And uh, really, what sold myself and my partner about doing you know internet in Belleville in the area is when a lady came up with two small kids, you know, uh, uh, elementary age, and uh, she said, you know, uh, uh, you know, I have to choose which kid does homework first. And I, you know, and I thought about that. You know, I'm, 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 you know, used to having fast, super fast internet. Right. Uh, you know, not having that limitation, and, and to meet someone that that is, you know, their kids are trying to learn. You know, yeah. trying to to work, and they're in the situation where 
there's just no good option. Yeah. Um, and that's that's really why we want to address, and that's why we built what we built. I was to say, and too, like my dad, he's disabled, and he lives to be able to. I mean, he can't go to the ball games anymore and stuff. And so, being able to stream those games, like he watched the Belleville Sealy game last night because he couldn't go. And, and so, yep. and church, yes, exactly. He hasn't gone to church for. The but church, he it. especially dealing with the elderly. Yes. Um, when you're talking about a metal, medical alert devices, things like yes. that, if you have a strong, stable internet, um, that's going to help you help them live longer right. and still communicate with their kids and communicate with the grandkids. Uh, you know, my family, we typically, we we have Alexis, right? We put Alexis out and, and my son on his little tablet can call my his grandmother, his great grandmother, right. you know, and have that one on one and they're three hours away. Right. You know, but we, we lock it down to just our family. Right. So, but it's, it's able for them to stay in touch with us and stay a part of the family. And, and that's, yeah. and that's it. You, you, um, especially dealing with elderly, we want to make sure they stay engaged with the family. We want to make sure that, that, you know, we can tell them we love them, you know? Right. And the thing is, is phone calls are good, but being able to see their face. See their face. Yeah. And that's the thing you say, you know, grandma, grandma, look what I drew for you. Yeah, and even exactly. if she can't. Hold it, she can see it. Yep. And so that, yeah, that makes a huge difference. All right, I have a technical question. How tall is the tower? How tall is our, the one we got right here? No, the one you put in, yeah, the one you put in Oh, Bobo. the one we have in Bobo, uh that tower is probably 400 foot, and we, we're, that's not our tower. We were in space on it, we're, and, uh, but uh, our equipment's probably about 200, 250 foot. Wow, around. Okay, now do you crawl up there and serve oh, any of that? I would love to <laughs> actually crawl up there just because, you know, being ex-military, uh, it's one of those things I enjoy, enjoy that type of thing. But no, if I did that, my insurance company would, would drop me. Yeah, in a heartbeat. <laughs> in a yes, heartbeat. They would. So we hire professionals for that. We have we have uh, some really good staff uh, that, that take care of that for us. Yeah, good deal. All right, anything else you want to tell the people of Austin County? How, what was it? I, oh, wait. The oh, yes, okay. radius. So, so uh, right now, our tower, we typically hit about uh, eight miles out. Um, the closer we are in, when we're looking at, uh, you know, what, that three to four mile, five mile is really the kind of the sweet spot of where we want to provide our service. Um, when we, 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 we have maps online, uh, for this, uh, but typically like right around the towers, like red, then we have orange and then we have yellow. I want everything in that orange, um, that's, that's around that area. That's around that, that, uh, five mile, because that's really what's going to give people nice, stable internet. And that's. That is my goal. I, I I don't want to stretch my technology, even though I could potentially get someone out there and provide right. them that. But if, if I'm not 100% certain that I can provide them a good quality service, I don't want to do it. I, I, right. I want people to have a good a good interaction with my company and just and have the best possible service they can have. That's, that's it. Right. Well, that's good. Then that's Greg, you have any other good questions like that? Oh, yeah. So uh, our, our web address, uh, you pretty much anything going to info at uh, yfinitynet.com uh, uh, is where you're going to send our an email. Uh, if you go to yfinitynet.com, uh, that's where all of our information, you sign up online, uh, you put our information in, your information in, just your uh, name, address, phone number, email address. Uh, we typically do like a, a uh, map overlay survey. Um, and we can tell you really quick, you know, almost down to the to the wire, whether we can do it or not, just by looking at the map. Okay. Um, after that, uh, if we think we can get internet, we'll come out and do a site survey. Um, you know, look at your look at your property, look at kind of where you want it, because where I think it may be may not necessarily be where you want it. Right. Um, we we look at that uh, and we give a yes or no, and then we give you a, a date for install. It's just as simple as that. And if you'll notice on the screen, we have the Wifinity, uh logo. Yeah. And uh, that's get it. It's wife infinity yeah. wife Wi Fi infinite. Yep. yep. Did I figure that out correctly? You got it. Look at me. If I get the prize. Yep. But anyway, um, anything else, Greg? Yeah. Uh, equipment. What equipment do y'all provide? So uh, we provide uh, all the radios for it. Um, right now, we like I said, we're, we're we want people to enjoy our, our service. We want people to get to to. Um, sign up with us right now. We're offering free installation. Typically, it's a two hundred dollar uh, uh, charge. Uh, um, and so we're offering all the equipment come out there. Basically, you call us up if we can provide you internet, we're about to do it. And then it's a monthly thing on a, on an annual contract. So on an annual contract, and you'll get the equipment. Um, and it depends on which 
what services you get as to as to cost. Right, right. Okay. So you know the cost range is going to vary. It can be you know like fifty bucks uh, for on the low end to one hundred fifty bucks on the high end, and okay. um, we, we won't really know. Obviously, we won't know what exact speeds we can get to you um, until we actually do the survey to figure out what's in the way and kind of where you're at. Because when you're dealing with wireless distance from the tower obstructions, things like that, the environment, all that kind of plays into it. And, uh, you know, we're doing our best to over-engineer our hardware sign okay. to ensure that we're meeting that that consistently, consistent service to you at all times. That's our goal. Okay. Sounds good. Can you think of anything else? Greg's my, he's my tech guy. That's why I'm letting him ask the questions. What do you, uh, my question for people, for let people know is, uh, what do you see coming down the pipe as far as technology? Did you were saying that Yes, it is going to get nothing but faster. Um, there's a reason why, and my partner, my partner asked me this when I, I started explaining to him kind of what we need to do, what type of, of, of internet we need to provide, how we need to provide our internet service. The first thing he asked me is like, well, isn't the wireless, you know, isn't that like old technology? I'm like, you no, know, man, this is like, it's, it's innovating. There's, there's new technology coming out and that's one of the reasons why we're delayed on our towers going up right now. We're, we're actually putting out newer technology to get faster internet. Uh, you know, everyone, almost everyone's familiar with, you know, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz speeds. Well, there's more coming out that offers better uh, throughput. When you think about that, think of it like, uh, you know, you're walking on a sidewalk uh, versus the hall of the, of the high school versus a two lane road versus a 10 lane freeway, right? And the technology that's coming out, it's literally coming from like a, a sidewalk to a 10 lane freeway, uh, you know, and again, I'm, don't, don't hold me to this, but looking at technology right now, we could see speeds to our client, um, up to a gigabit. Uh, again, I won't, I don't, not going to push anything that I can't 100% be sustainable, uh, for my clients. Um, realistically, if I can get 150 megs to our clients, um, consistently around all of Belleville, from Sealy to to uh, uh, Hempstead uh, to Brenham, that is really what I'm truly looking for. I think that will help change uh, uh, change the community. Yeah. And for for people who don't know, no big bet rave. 150 would be what six people watching Netflix at the same time. Well, so so you know, per perspective, um, um, I worked for a bank for a while, right? Uh, um, we had 150 people across seven locations running off of a hundred megabit. Okay. When you're looking at streaming, um, if you can get 25 megabit, typically reliably, um, you can stream, you know, uh, Netflix and not have any issues. Um, if you're hitting the 60, um, you know, 45 to 60 megabit, you can stream, you know, on multiple devices and not have any issues. Um, and a lot of people think, you know, well, wireless, you're only getting, you know, uh, 60 megs at so low. Uh, you know, I got a gigabit in Houston. Well, the reality is the, the amount of people that use a gigabit uh, is very, very, very limited. You know, you don't we don't typically use a gigabit when you have a gigabit service. You, you're using a, just a small fortune. You'd be surprised the number of of uh, uh, things that you think would use bandwidth that are not using as much bandwidth as you as you think. I mean, I think we're streaming right now. Okay on a connection that is literally seven megabit upload okay six to seven minute up megabit upload okay um and because we're pushing out information our upload is still so low but you're still able we're still showing quality quality uh, uh stuff here all right so you know i I, was... and I would really worry about your latency how long it takes to get the communication you know, versus what your your uh, megabit is, because your latency is really going to drive your voice or your video communications, things like that. You know, when you start dealing with like satellites, uh, satellite is going to have a really high latency. It's like going across the a big open hall um, that delay for my voice to get to you. That's the latency I'm talking about um, and the communication. So um, we were able to take uh, my partners that had a satellite provider um from 750 milliseconds that's huge latency down to between 18 and 13 milliseconds so you're talking a drastic reduction in how fast that communication is going and so and so that latency is really what's driving you can have a high bandwidth 
But if you have a really high latency, you're still not having quality communications. And I can say, hey, you got 100 megabit, but your latency is 1,000 milliseconds. You're still not making a call. You know? What was the web address That is um, uh, Wifinity. That's W-I-F-I-N-I-T-Y net. That's N-E-T dot com. So Wifinity net dot com. And I'm going to call it up. Go play. When you add Bayer deals. And the beauty part is you've got, you got a local guy giving you local internet. So you're not you're not calling Idaho. Yeah, we'll yep. the yeah. So the packages you see here, these are our, our higher end packages. We offer off uh, off also offer lower packages down to 10 megabits. Uh, that's that fifty dollars a month. But typically the the sixty megabit the the you know that's kind of in between the titanium and platinum is typically where we like to provide our service. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that the residential? That's the residential. We do offer also offer business. Uh, primarily the difference between business and and residential um it's all dealing with the quality of service um you know with businesses uh you have to have a guaranteed absolute you know i uh, i have to have internet it this is never going to i can't i can't have any so you're going to build redundancies more redundancies into a, a business environment than you are in a residential um uh which is also reflected in the higher rate uh, for business. Gotcha. You know. All right. Well, I was out there. I think we covered it all. Like I said, the big thing I like is you got a local guy giving you a local internet because I hate calling and you know, you get somebody, you get a human being who has sometimes you don't get a human right. being and sometimes the human beings you get are from God knows where. Right. And so, you know, that's, that's one of the things that's, that's nice is when you call, you know, you know who you're, you know, person is. So. And we're actively, we're actually actively looking to invest in the community. Uh, in a way of of hiring more employees, you know, to provide our service, uh, we're looking locally. I don't want to hire outside local right. um, uh, to bring people in. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're we're trying to do. We're all about the community. Awesome. Are you to train? Awesome. What's that? Are you to train people? Um, yes. Uh, right now, the position that we have open, we're looking for people that have experience. Um, but as we grow, most definitely, I think there's when you're dealing with with being able to promote inside the company. That's just the best way to do it. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna keep people uh, longer. Uh, people are gonna have more more uh, uh, loyalty, to, loyalty to you. More more they're gonna feel better about their about their position about what they do. And I think uh, you know you shouldn't go to work and you know not like your job and not like what you're doing and not feel like you're appreciated. And and uh, I think being able to promote internally shows that appreciation. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Well, so, thank you for. I don't know. Right. Yeah. But if you want to train, yeah. 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 All right. Well, beautiful. Thank you for coming and visiting with us. Thank you for All right. Austin County, you need internet? Go to Wifinity. They'll fix you up.